Hello, my friends. It's Jennifer Salness here for your weekend crystal energy reading for Friday, October 11th, 2013. And I know it's been a couple weeks since I've done a video, but it's just been a crazy busy time. So thought I would do one today. And as you can see, I haven't decided yet which I'm going to do, if I'm going to do stones or cards. And um, I do have a question to answer on my Facebook page today, which you should all go like if you haven't already, at facebook.com slash Jennifer Salness Online. Um, I asked somebody to ask me a question, either personal or global, kind of planetary question, and I will be answering Jennifer's question shortly. So... What we do, or I do for this video, is either choose a few stones or draw cards to kind of guide us through the weekend and into next week, just for some intentions to keep in mind and some energies, maybe where to place your focus, or it possibly could be what's going on right now on a planetary level as well. So, intuitively, at the moment, I am feeling stones. So I'm going to do stones, and then I actually will do cards for Jennifer's reading. So as you can see, I have a set of stones that I am using. I'll just shuffle them up here. And they're not fragile by any means. So, okay. So I actually am going to close my eyes as I do this, and I feel like I need to draw them really quickly, like not even feeling them out, and I get four. And I think it's that one. Okay, so let me slide this over. And interesting. So here's how I place them. Um, if you can see the dark ones here, kind of in a square, kind of triangle if you go at it this way. So actually, I like that. So let's do that. Um, so honestly, I don't remember the first one I, I picked. Um, I'd have to go back and look at the video. So we're just going to go with the flow. Garnet is the first one I'm drawn to. This is a beautiful, polished garnet. You can maybe see a little bit of the red sheen in there. Garnet is a great stone for grounding and focusing, getting in your body but also getting into your heart chakra, into your heart, and then into your body. And it really feels like this is just energies coming up planetary-wise um, and maybe some things to focus on. Just feels like there's a lot going on right now. Some people have been saying the energies are pretty intense, and it can be. It just depends on where you're at in your life and what's going on. And if you are centered and balanced all the time maybe you don't feel it as much as other people so i feel like it's a message to stay grounded do things that really get you on the earth get outside get into nature go on a walk and especially if you're in the midwest beautiful fall weekend although i don't know what the weather is supposed to be this weekend now that i say that um get outside and enjoy it while we can Second one I'm drawn to is, this is fuchsite with ruby and kyanite. Fuchsite is the green, most of the green. And let me see if I can get this focused. Not really, but a little focused. Anyways, um, fuchsite is the green. Ruby obviously is the red. And there's a little tiny bit of kyanite around in certain places. That's the kyanite, um, the blue. So, fuchsite with ruby and kyanite is all about clearing, and emotional clearing specifically. But doing it kind of in a gentle way, with the support of your intuition, and with the ruby, doing it really in a grounded way, and through your heart. Ruby is really much a heart chakra stone. And in general, this is a heart chakra stone as well. So I take it to mean... There is probably going to be some emotional clearing coming up or clearing of some sort over the weekend and into next week for people. And I also know that has been happening for people in the past week, so I'm not surprised at this. But just don't forget, go into your heart, follow your heart and nobody else's. 
Don't do what other people tell you to do. Follow your intuition and your gut with that. Uh, black tourmaline is a great stone for grounding again, but really more about protection. Not necessarily to keep out the bad stuff. We don't need to do that. I mean, the good stuff. I'm sorry. Um, we want to keep the good stuff in. We don't want bad stuff. And not that there's necessarily bad stuff. It's just negative or challenging or shadow information that you don't want in your energy field. Black tourmaline can kind of help disperse some of that, get it out of your field, keep you more focused and clear. And it's also great for blocking out EMFs, computer rays, radiation, all that kind of stuff. So I feel like put a bubble around yourself. Like just visualize a white bubble, pink bubble, gold bubble, whatever it might be for you. Visualize that around yourself because if we're grounding, if there's lots of intense energies and we're doing lots of clearing, you also need to keep yourself protected so that more stuff does not come in. So be sure, I feel guided to say this, be sure to shut down the back of your neck. Like even just rub your hand down over it. Sometimes for people, feels like this is for one specific person. Um, that's where energies and entities that you don't want can come in. So visualize it as a door shutting. Just run your hand down across it so it feels like it's shut. Not sure why I had to say that, but there you go. So then it feels like once we are done with that, I'm going to move this again so I can get my hand here. Um, carnelian is all about sacral chakra, creativity, passion, really getting energy moving and doing what we love. So I think once we get through all this clearing, things are going to break through and there will be lots more creativity, lots more passion, and then get back into doing what makes you happy. Do what gives you joy. So I hope that all makes sense. So let me do Jennifer's cards really quick. I'm just going to shuffle. And her question, to go look at my Facebook page really quick here, I think was about... Am I on the right path for my family and I to find or buy our dream home in the next six months? So intuitively, even as I am shuffling, I hear, oh, yes, of course. Like, it's kind of a no-brainer is what it feels like. Keep doing what you're doing. It feels like there's certain steps you're going to have to take, but you'll know what those steps are, and they're just going to fall into place naturally. Um, let's see what the stones say. Okay. And I hear to draw two. Okay, so red jasper is all about root chakra, grounding, getting connected to the earth. This actually reminds me of the Grand Canyon um, for some reason. And getting really focused in your body. And I really feel too, like for you specifically, Jennifer, that because of the Grand Canyon reference it feels like it's also expansive like don't limit your connection or your thoughts to what you think it's going to be maybe just expand your vision a little bit to other possibilities and something will come up but don't forget to stay grounded and rooted in your body because it's easy to get caught up in the oh my gosh is this the right house is this the right one just really stay rooted and grounded with it. Tiger iron is a stone that actually has, you can see it a little bit in here, um, red jasper, hematite is the black, and tiger's eye is the red. It's a stone that naturally has all three of those minerals together. Um, tiger iron is all again about grounding getting focused and both of these together I just feel like deep 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 get rooted get also get settled I feel like it is an indication of what'll come when your house comes that it'll just be really 
oomph. Here we are. This is our house. We're settled. But during the whole process, don't forget to stay grounded and rooted. Stay in your body and really stay focused on what you want your house to be while still staying expansive and open to new ideas. So I hope that makes sense. So thank you so much for watching. I know this was a little longer video than usual. If you have a question that you want me to ask or answer in next week's video, you can post on my Facebook page, actually, which I said was facebook.com slash Jennifer Salness online. And just post your question and let me know that it's your question for the crystal video reading for next week. And I will answer the first question that comes up. If you want your own personal video reading, jennifersalness.com has more information and you can go purchase your own crystals as well on my shop at Jen uh, no, <laughs> crystallineshop.com and I'll link them in the YouTube video as well. So thank you so very much. Have a great weekend. Many blessings to all of you and I will see you next week. Thanks.